Hi everyone, this is Brendan here and welcome to my next episode of my Let's Clash series. So currently we are at day 20. So good that we have progressed a lot ever since the start of this whole entire series. So after 20 days of playing Clash on this uh, third account, I progressed a lot and have definitely farmed a lot for the war. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed the series so far. And of course, uh, do give a like and also state in the comments what kind of uh, feel you guys have for this kind of series, especially if I'm going to make it every day. So I'm trying to upload a video, especially for this particular series alone uh, every day so that I can update you guys on my progress. I uh, just want to let you guys know that it's not too easy to do the editing and also upload every day for this kind of videos because I have to edit like roughly 20 to 30 minutes of video and shrink it down to roughly 10 to 15 minutes so that you guys can uh, take a look at all the progress that I'm doing and not uh, watch all those boring stuff. So um, although it's really tiring but I do enjoy showing you guys all this kind of race and also showing you guys the progress of how I uh, built my account and also at the same time you guys have definitely learned something a thing of two from these uh, 20 episodes so for those of you who have learned something definitely leave a like on this video and also state in the comments what you guys have learned from the past 20 episodes as I'm pretty sure some of you guys have stated that you guys have learned uh, like how to make use of the national flags to increase your goal uh, capacity as to how to also use uh, different strategies to farm and as to how to farm even better increasing your farming rates and also uh, managing your account uh, properly especially managing the builder's time so a lot of you guys have stated in the comments as to what you guys have learned so of course do let me know what you guys have learned and how much it has improve your gameplay as it will be really exciting and also uh, happy for me to know that you guys have learned something out of all the episodes that I have made for you guys so yeah back to the raid so now as you can see it's a uh, kind of an easy base for this one the gold mines they are all exposed and then eventually I just uh, let my troops just snipe out the elixir collectors first so that once the elixir collectors have gone down then I deploy my troops otherwise they will just go haywire not taking out the gold mines that I want them to do so another thing to note that, um, especially for those buildings that are very far away from the cannons and the archers, the archer towers in fact, they can be uh, taken out with just only one archer. So that's something that you guys can make use of if you guys are willing to patiently wait for the time of the archer to shoot down the building. So sometimes I'm pretty lazy, sometimes I do not want to wait for the time, I'm rather impatient. So I just uh, go ahead spamming out all my troops. So although it's not a very efficient way of farming, but it still gets the job done. And of course, uh, uh, farming um, with uh, this kind of farming rate, especially like around uh, high loot and also getting a lot of resources from one particular attack, I'm able to farm in such a way whereby the gold will usually overflows before one of my builder is free. And eventually I will be able to use the gold to upgrade my walls. So now going ahead with the next attack. So now as you can see, we have 269,000 gold available, all inside the gold mines. And then eventually just spreading my troops on the top right, focusing on the area whereby the gold are all over there, not uh, bothering with the rest of the areas. As usually how I strategize my attack is, uh, I will see as to how uh, possible is it for me to get a one star. If it's not possible for me to get a one star, I'll just forget about the one star and eventually just lose the battle as the past few raids that you guys have been seeing. So for this particular raid, I knew it was going to be very difficult to get the one star but i did try my luck because the town hall was over there and i had some wizards on my army so i just uh, wanted to break through the wall eventually uh, the mota they proved too difficult for me to even handle even the wizards they couldn't uh, handle it anymore so once the archers they went down really quickly uh, not forgetting that they are just level 3 archers which goes down really quickly with just one or even just less than a uh, few hits from the mota itself and then uh, now going back to my base so now as you can see the motor on the left has just completed eventually using uh, my builder to take, remove one of the trunk the trunk has given me an, a gem and uh, now going back to doing some upgrades upgrading the walls definitely as i want to get them to higher level almost getting them all to dark purple crystal wall as i uh, mentioned i want to get them to dark purple crystal wall before i head on to town hall 8 but uh, according to my progress i don't think i'll be able to make it maybe i'll get like 80 percent to dark purple crystal wall which is already good enough and then eventually once they reach to scar wall and then uh, i reach to town hall 9 i'll be able to use a uh, elixir and also go to upgrade the walls that will increase the progress slightly faster but also taking into consideration that there's loot penalty and also that it will be harder to farm as a town hall 9 and 
with stronger troops, that's something to also take note of. Uh, maybe with stronger troops, I would be able to farm faster. And now, uh, going ahead with this raid, 229,000 gold. This is Town Hall 8, uh, with a lot of the gold exposed, gold inside the gold mines. So just focusing on the gold mines, not really bothering about the rest of the structures. But then uh, I decided to just try my luck, maybe uh, getting the 1 star, because a lot of the buildings were exposed, that's 1. And also, uh, it didn't uh, bother the troops that much, especially when the defences, they were all inside the moda, they were inside the base, inside the last layer of wall, uh, just next to the town hall. So I just didn't have to go at that side to prevent my troops from getting taken out. So dropping my clan castle on the right side, focusing on the two gold mines, which are really full, that's behind the wall. Eventually, once the wizard shot over the wall and they just took out the two gold mines, it's now at 40%. So looking at the percentage, I was left with two more archers, uh, hoping that my troops could actually go all the way inside, especially the wizards could go inside to take out more of the buildings to do a little bit more of the damage percentage. And eventually the archers shooting over the wall took out that gold mine, and then now scoring me the one star, ending the battle, and securing a win. So going ahead with the next attack, although it's only 159,000, but as you can see, why I attack this kind of base is because it's a dead base. And then uh, it's just uh, very easy to loot, just uh, farming the gold mines on the outside, eventually just ending the raid in just a few more seconds. So now as you can see, the gold is going down really quickly, stealing all the gold from the gold mine, not even having to spend all my troops. So I'm, I spent like roughly around 30 or 40 over troops to get all the loot from this uh, attack and just spending just less than even a minute to get 159,000. So yeah, going ahead with this kind of high loot bases, 431,000 gold available. Uh, but this kind of base, as you can see, the gold mines, they're all spread out, not like just now the raid that I just showed you guys, which are all placed together nicely, easily to farm. So uh, this base is not easy to farm, but also not too difficult if you guys know what you guys are doing and not to spam all your troops at one particular spot. If you guys were to spam your troops at one particular spot, then uh, you might not have enough troops for, for certain places that you guys want to farm at. So like for now, as you can see, I conserve some of my barbarians and also my archers and then my clan castle because I wanted to get three items from this side. The Dark Elixir Druid and the two gold mines that were level 12. So I wanted to get those, especially the Barbarian King over there uh, defending the base. I wanted to use my wizards to try to get, take it out first. So took the Barbarian King out, eventually my wizards went ahead to try to take out the rest of the other structures. One more gold mine left on the left side, Dark Elixir Drew, and so one of the gold mines has gone down. So eventually just left with that wizard over there, taking one last shot on the gold mine, getting the gold mine. And then the Town Hall has also gone down, which is really awesome because it's outside. So I didn't lose this raid. So going ahead with the next attack with 191,000 gold. Although it's not too high in loot, but I knew it was a relatively easy base for me to attack, especially when the gold mines they're all outside. So just deploying my troops in a V-shaped manner as to how I usually deploy. And then going ahead with the attack, my troops just pushing their way up, pushing their way into the base, and then dropping my clan castle at the bottom with the wizards on the inside. Now we just focus at the bottom, the bottom whereby the troops are pushing their way into the base. So I was trying to get a one star and not going too greedy to go for a two star because it's rather difficult to go for a two star, especially when there are the mortars and also the wizard tower protecting the base. However, my troops decided to break through the wall and then they easily went through the wall. So we've gotten a 40% right now. So hoping hoping to get a 50% on the left and the right side, the buildings have already been cleared. So going into the base, my troops have done a really good job, especially the wizards, they have break, broken through all the way into the base. Eventually, they just uh, went all the way in. And I didn't realize that they were doing so much damage when I, whereby even when the Barbarian King came out, the wizards managed to take out the Barbarian King, although they are like being throwed by the Barbarian King, jumping up and down, in and out. So you, after that, the wizard, they got kind of pissed off and they took out the Barbarian King, which was really awesome. And then now, as you can see, the Town Hall is going down really fast with the damage from the wizards. Wizards taking out the Town Hall super quick. And then, uh, as now, just a few more seconds, the Town Hall is going to go down in just 3, 2, 1, bam. It went down. So eventually, just ending the battle, scoring the 2 star 57%. So going ahead with the next attack, 254,000 gold available. So I know you guys will be asking me how come and how do I find this kind of high loot, high resources base. You guys have to take into consideration that this is a full day of recording. So of course it's not like a like 30 minutes or like a 17 minutes or whatsoever kind of a, just a recording whereby I just search only for 17 minutes. So of course it's a full day of uh, searching, I farm for like around a few hours, maybe around 6 to around uh, 12 hours per day on this account alone. Uh, of course playing uh, my other account at the same time on other devices. So uh, just talking about just farming on this account alone, I do search for very long. So sometimes even searching for around 1 to 3 minutes, that's if I'm very lucky to find like a, a base that I want to attack. So if it's like a really a bad timing, especially those timing whereby the loot is very bad. So as mentioned in my uh, 
them farming guide. I did mention what kind of timings are really good to farm at. So if you guys want to take a look at what kind of timings are good to farm at, you guys, I'll put a link in the description below so you guys can go and take a look at it. I won't go too much detail on this video. So back to what I'm talking about, which is um, basically I do search for very long, roughly one to three minutes. And of course, for those kind of timings that they are very bad, I will take roughly three to five minutes, even up to 10 minutes or so just spamming and pressing the next button slowly pressing so that I find the rate that I want to find and then eventually just going for an attack so sometimes as you guys can see like I find those kind of 300 400 over thousand uh, go available or in fact uh, both resources add up to like more than 500 over thousand uh, uh, resources kind of basis like this particular one uh, it takes quite a while to find it and of course it really depends on luck as to what kind of trophy levels you are at and also what kind of town hall you are, are at so you guys have been asking me in the comments uh, section below asking me as to what kind of trophy levels you guys should be farming at this and that I have also stated in my band farming guide as to what kind of trophy levels you guys should be at as to what kind of town hall you guys are and I strongly recommend to those of you guys who haven't watched my farming guide to go ahead and learn from it especially for those of you who really want to farm to a very maxed out Town Hall 9 or in fact a Town Hall 10 all the tips and tricks given in the whole series will definitely help in you guys in farming your base so I've given out basically everything that I know of how to clash and farm in the most optimum manner possible if you guys want to learn from it you guys definitely should go ahead and watch all the series so basically if you guys are lazy and do not want to go ahead and watch the series then I can't do anything and uh, watching all this uh, learning all this series from um, by this let's clash it won't uh, exactly help much because uh, all the stuff that you guys are watching you guys will just be thinking to yourself how do i find all this kind of high resources loot and i'm like how do i deploy this fast how do i um, deploy my troops in such a manner this and that so it won't really help so it's really recommended to go ahead and watch all the uh, series especially in that guide alone it will definitely let you guys understand as to how i'm clashing as to why i'm playing in such a manner how do i do stuff on uh, this whole entire series and especially a uh, deployment of the troops how do I deploy with uh, so many uh, touch of the screen and also how do I uh, find such high resources spaces so there are many uh, stuff to take note of especially like uh, what, what farming timings to take note of and also what kind of trophy range what kind of uh, things to look out for as to where to determine the loot are I've talked everything all in depth on the whole entire 8 uh, episodes on that series alone so I'll definitely put a link in the description below those of you who really want to improve on the whole entire farming as rate go ahead and take a look at it I assure you guys will learn something even uh, if it's not something I'm pretty sure you guys will enjoy it too and uh, it's really strongly recommended that you guys go ahead and share this with your clan mates especially if you want them to improve and uh, grow as a clan so for me I usually share tips with my clan mates teaching them uh, tips along the way as to how to improve their farming rates especially when uh, I'm in the same clan as other people especially in SG gladiators I'll watch their replays as to determine why they farm in that particular manner and how they could improve their uh, strategy so sometimes we learn from each other I will look at their way the way they farm some of them they use certain kind of a uh, deployment strategy and also kind of, kind of troops and also the different types of spells so last time when I was started farming I only used like lightning spell I didn't use any rich spell whatsoever until I began to watch some of the replays from my clanmates in SG Gladiators and eventually I saw that they would be able to use their rich spell in, ver in a very efficient manner so I decided to try out a rich spell and then eventually I converted from using 5 lightning spells to using a 1 lightning spell, 2 rich, 1 jump and also 1 freeze so eventually once I reach to Town Hall 10 and then I start farming as a Town Hall 10 I will be using that spells combination to farm using a Butch or even a Bam so Butch and Bam they are uh, my most of manner of farming uh, the whole entire of my base so why I use Butch are sometimes because I need to conserve some Dark Elixir so definitely BAM is the best for me because a BAM I'm able to farm uh, all the resources at the same time it will also increase my farming rate and also increase in such a manner whereby it increases rough, roughly around 20 to 40 percent depending on uh, the timing and also what kind of loot I'm getting yeah, so hopefully you guys will go ahead and watch the guide the whole entire series alone and definitely improve your rates. So, okay, back to the whole entire uh, Clash series. So going ahead with the upgrade. So now, as you can see, I upgraded the wall. My research lab has just completed its upgrade. As you can see, uh, now my builder is free. And also I have 18 hours left on my lightning spell. So I just want to show you guys something really interesting. So now getting the Barbarian King. Finally, after getting the 10,000 Dark Elixir, which I have uh, gotten it in roughly two to three days if I remember correctly 
So it's not too difficult to get him and I didn't focus on him as mentioned in my previous episode because I was focusing really on the walls. So now if you guys notice the lightning spell, it's showed at 18 hours left, right? So just keep noticing the lightning spell that is being upgraded at the research lab and then eventually I went ahead to uh, do an upgrade on my barrack. So 15 minutes later, less than 15 minutes later, in fact, my research completed. So what happened was, this is a picture of it. Uh, what happened was, I think there was a glitch. So in the glitch, what happened was that I used my troops. I just went and do a raid and I just snapped the town hall. After I snapped the town hall, I came back to my base and it showed lightning spell research completed. And then I was kind of stunned. In fact, I was like clicking my research lab, just trying to double confirm that the lightning spell has completed. I was taken aback whereby it showed 18 hours. Then when I went to do a raid, it just completed. So as you can see on the bottom right, the barrack was still uh, being upgraded. So 15 minus 2 minutes would be 13 minutes. So just 13 minutes into this whole entire uh, recording just to show you guys, uh, the lightning spell completed and then I do not know why. So maybe this is a glitch that uh, Supercell didn't uh, intend to have but uh, yeah, it's a glitch that definitely benefits uh, me and also definitely benefits us. So going ahead to upgrade the Archer to the next level, level 4 Archers which I would definitely love to have and use it. And then now just going ahead to spend my walls, upgrading the walls and just conserving them in such a way that I'll have a little bit of go left. And then also just going ahead with the next upgrade, upgrading my barrack to the next level because I was going to bed. So yeah, that's it for this uh, particular episode. Hope you guys had enjoyed all the updates and definitely you guys have learned something out of it. So do remember, stay in the comments what you guys have learned. And before I end off, I'd just like to say thank you to all of you guys for supporting this whole entire series. Although it's already 20 episodes, but it's really been a fun episode all the past few episodes. I really do enjoy making the videos for you guys to watch. Although it's really uh, tiring and also sometimes uh, it really takes a lot of time to uh, edit the videos, especially like a 30 or 40 minutes video. I have to shrink it down to like a 10 or 15 minutes video as mentioned. But uh, the effort is really definitely worth it, especially when you guys are giving me positive comments and appreciating all the effort that I've been doing so far. And I also appreciate all the comments and the kind words that you guys have been giving me. So I hope you guys uh, and wish you guys all the best in your farming and also improving your base. And also hopefully I'll be able to reach to Town Hall 9 soon. So with that said, I'd like to thank you guys for watching my video and clash on.